Hi everyone, it's me again, Lotus. So here we go with another video in the Healing Arts series. If you are new to my channel, please click that subscribe button to watch weekly videos. I paint and I talk about self-growth and spirituality. My goal is to send loving and healing vibes through my art. So if you are interested, please join my little community. You can also find me on Instagram, I'm at Hanotis Art. Okay, so in today's video, I'm going to talk about the importance of the love and the care that we give to our shadow. So first of all, what is a shadow? To describe it in a simple and straightforward way, shadow can be a negative emotion or repetitive thinking pattern that you have inside you. Jealousy, anger, hatred, resentment, disappointment, frustration, any emotion or thought that is tormenting your mentality and sanity. One more thing that I should mention is that shadow is not a kind of spontaneous emotion that arises from us because of temporary circumstances. It's deeply rooted in our past, especially in our childhood. For instance, a person does not feel isolated because he is too shy to make new friends or because other people don't like him. It's probably originated in his early days when he was neglected or even abandoned by his parents and with time. This creates an emotion inside him that he is unworthy of love and connection and therefore he shut himself from other people. It's important to know that shadow exists in all of us. We all have shadows, some of us have so many of them, and it's fine. Actually having shadows is an initiative condition for you to heal, because if you don't have anything negative and undesirable inside you, then there cannot be anything to heal from, and actually it's impossible to live without experiencing all these emotions, because we are human beings. So first of all, I just want to say that if you recognize these shadows inside you, it's a good thing, since it's the very first step you can take in your healing journey, that is to identify your shadows. I am saying all of this because I have seen the way people treat their shadow. Normally when we recognize a negative pattern inside us, the first thing we do is to criticize, charge, and amplify or ignore it. For instance, when you see that you are getting angry towards something or someone, you can either condemn yourself for being overreactive, or you can add fuel to the fire by letting your anger consume you. Both of these reactions are equally detrimental to your emotional health, but sadly, that's the common tendency that we often incline to. I know that it's really hard to have a welcoming and gentle approach to our negative emotions, but since they are a part of us, we cannot turn a blind eye to them, or else they are just going to grow into monsters that can destroy our emotional control and stability. So, the next question is why do we have to make peace with our shadow? I have read a beautiful book from Thich Nhat Hanh. He is a Vietnamese Buddhist monk, a peace activist. The book is called Anger, and inside his work, Thich Nhat Hanh describes something known as non-duality and interbeing. So basically, non-duality or interbeing means that there must always be coexistence of contradictions. For instance, we cannot identify the left side without the right side. We cannot identify happiness without suffering, and we cannot know the light without the shadow. If there's no shadow, there's no light. So it's crucial to accept the obvious existence of our shadow, our negative patterns, and it's even more important to know how to take care of them. Just like when we are planting vegetables, we need the help from the garbage to make compost so that we can give our plants enough nutrition. If there's no garbage, there's no compost, and there's no healthy plants. So you see, you are capable of turning your garbage into something valuable. You are capable of turning your shadow into a source of healing energy for your spiritual growth. So what can we do to turn our shadows into something healing and positive? First of all, like just like what I just said, we need to acknowledge their presence. It's never a good thing to deny them or try to push them away because sooner or later, what you don't give enough attention will always come back to you with greater intensity each time. I would recommend you not doing anything much when you're trying to acknowledge your shadow. Don't cry, don't throw things, don't swear, don't tense your body because when you're doing so, your mind is not clear 
Of course, you can cry to let your emotions out, but after that, after all of that, please try to be as calm as you can and find a place where you can sit comfortably and just lay your body on a couch, a chair, or even your bed, and then take three deep breaths. Really, really deep breaths, and while you're doing so, just focus on the breath only, the way the air flows into the, your nose and down to your lungs, and how it goes out as you exhale. If three breaths is not enough, allow five breaths, ten breaths, until you can see that little shadow is sitting at the corner in your mind. You observe it. You will see that it's just like a baby, wanting more love and attention. So yes, the first thing is to know that your shadow is right there inside you. It's the part of you that is seeking attention from you. The second part is a bit more tricky because this is where people often take a wrong approach. Instead of charging while you are having some emotions or trying to add more fire into your shadows, you need to embrace them with kindness. Just think of your shadow as your inner child, a child that is. Yearning for affection and care, so the language that you are giving to it matters. Instead of saying "Why are you here? Get lost! I don't want you!" or "I see you as an excuse to hurt or harm myself or all the people," you should change your language a little bit. I know that you are right there, and I am right here for you. I see you and I feel you, just like. A crying baby, when your shadow has been noticed and cattered, it will soon stop crying and making a mess. Your emotions and your thoughts will go away when you look straight at them with a tender and non-judgmental attitude. They will not stay there forever. You just need to acknowledge them and treat them in the right way. There's one more important step in treating your shadow, which is meditation. Just like I said before, focusing on your breath only. And you know, feeling what's going on inside your body and your mind. However, talking about meditation will take a whole nother video, and I myself am also trying to cultivate the habit of daily meditation. So maybe I'll leave it for a future video. But today we are just mainly looking at the steps of recognizing and giving love to our shadow. I hope that this video is somehow. Helpful for you. It takes me so long to acquire this understanding towards my shadow, and I just want to share it with all of you. And I hope that this video can inspire you to stop for a moment and feel the shadows inside you, and treat them with more compassion. And of course, I hope you enjoy this painting of mine too. If you like this video, please click that subscribe button to watch more weekly videos from me. Thank you so so much for spending your precious time watching this video and listening to me. I will talk to you more in my next video. Please take care. Goodbye.